So hello everybody that couldn't see me because I was hosting d stream but streaming for my own channel. How's it going? Well, at least I caught it this early. It's not like I went a whole four hours or whatever doing that. But yes, I um, was on the wrong profile, so I streamed to my own channel and wondering why things weren't showing up on DDO stream. And that would be why. So there we go. All right. So now we should be ready to go. Should be audible, should be streaming, everything should be fine. So what you missed in those 15 minutes that will be up on later on everything is I respect my rogue and then went over to Shaw and was looking for this. And I got the epic and heroic versions ready. There are people already in. I'll go in with no pressure just to see what's going on. The huge bronze doors are carved with strange runes. Turn my volume up a bit to hear this. The doors had been sealed with soft iron. How rude. So the bandits who can't get in the temple are roaming around outside. Interesting. So there's a little bit of stuff outside, but not much. Not even a collectible. Hmm. I suppose people could farm that. Yep. It is Cubelum. This is Temple of Elemental Evil. I have not seen it before, so no spoilers, please. This is the first time I'm going in and seeing what's going. <laughs> yeah. Will Wheaton's narrating. So yeah, I'm just going to explore on my own here. Take my time, see what happens. Drop something useful. Ah, oh, there we go. Yep. I figured it'd be fun to do it live on stream, so I held off on going in today. Ah, 
use a shop then too. That's handy. So yeah, this is what today's going to consist of. Is going through... I'm on Heroic Elite, just because I want to get the favor over with. I figure I'll run it on Epic enough times after this, but... For the first time in, I just want to explore. Without any pressure. Do my own pace. Not sure. I love seeing all the zero XP stuff. It's fun. Oh, there's a red name. How about that? See, so yeah, I keep in mind I'm an epic character playing on heroic just to explore. So that's why everything's dying so fast. It should not. Wand of a wonder. Interesting. Why is it Wand of a wonder? Mobs are really dense. It's interesting. <laughs> nice skunk. I saw somebody post a level one map on the forums. I didn't look at it, but I saw it was there. Yep, it's going to be a fairly chill stream. We're probably going to spend our entire time in here. Just running around exploring and seeing what we can see. Like that secret door right there. It's kind of odd to have all those archers firing at you through the secret door when it's not open yet. Oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I do appreciate everybody's work on the wiki. It contains a lot of useful information. I use it quite a lot. Hey, Pog. Welcome. Yeah, I just didn't feel I had a character that could solo elite, I mean epic at the moment. So, uh, you... I don't want to waste my weapon on you. <laughs> Given I know how this place is pretty big. Do not want to waste a bunch of weapon damage on a Rusty. Plus three etched like pick. Acid vulnerability. 
And then another one of a wonder. So it's just like a wand form of a potion of wonder. Ah, they're exclusive. Interesting. Well, let's wait right in. Hi guys, how you doing? Bring out some of the pets just to make these guys die faster. This reminds me a lot of um, Thunder Home at the moment. We got these packs of mobs around every corner. We can buy brittle skin. <laughs> Effects. Yeah, I'm gonna gonna go ahead and bring these guys out. Let's see, I haven't brought them out in a while. The uh, placement's all off. All right, you guys go attack whatever you want. Wow, 750 kills on the first level alone. I'd say it's a great place for monster chunks when you do it at appropriate levels. Fiber, streamer, streamer, mortality, the oh, copper piece. So that's right, I'm in, on heroic, so it's low level. Oh. A nice champion orange named Gargoyle. It's a little bit fun. And you can kill these guys, good. That's a couple mobs there. Good, they're finding more guys to kill. Google Hunter Deed. Hey, I'm getting some XP. <laughs>
Mm. Again, welcome everybody. Thanks for watching. Sorry, I had a little mix up there at the start. I usually keep my OBS on my personal channel just in case, so I don't interrupt anybody else's stream. And in this case, I forgot to switch it back before I started. So, yeah. Ah, uh, to the Earth Temple is that way. Okay. Eh, let's keep exploring first. Ah, yummy. Lots of fun traps. I actually killed my arrow bird. Huh. That's amusing. Caught a couple traps, did you, buddy? How's it going? I know that we played it because we played just about all of them, but I don't have a lot of really clear memories from it. It's very possible that my character was killed early on. Um, uh, I, I mean, I didn't even make it through the first encounter in Tomb of Horrors, which I think is a common thing for a lot of people. Um, but uh, I know that I remember reading the Temple of Elements. Interesting. So I've got little commentaries built in. So there's different ways to get in there. All right, let's go Earth since we're here. I hear something big moving. That's this cool. This enormous hall is much wider than many of the others you've seen in the temple. The sound of stone grinding against stone. A belligerent cleric stands atop a stone Good. vault in the center of this chamber. Four massive earth elements patrol around the Let me get that three. Make that two. And let's make that. One and none. The There's the key. And let's loot this time. Junk. Okay. So is there anything else to do around here? Come on, kid. This great bronze door has had its wards removed recently, just like the door at the temple entrance. Earth barrier. Library. Hmm. I am on Heroic Elite. I'm way over level for this. But I don't have a character that's really ready to run level 28 solo. So I figured I'd, this would be the so, quarters. so I figured I'd just drop in here and that way I can take my time and just experiment and see what explore and see what all this has to offer without being too stressed out about surviving. As in, I'm walking through everything, but there's some guys back here.
funny, all the audio commentaries is an optional. That's neat. Interesting. So I think I've gotten all that stuff done. Let's go see what I've missed back over here. End of this door. Hello, everybody. I see several people have joined and are lurking, which is fine. I'm making my first run to the temple now. I'm doing it quite casually. So there's the library I was in before. All right. So I should probably go back in there and go the other way. Let's run across the top area here and over the other side. So yeah, just not doing anything in particular, just hanging out and exploring. No goal besides seeing what it has to offer for my first run through. Yeah, Jokazra, I don't... Can you even get those anymore? I don't know if you can or not. I know they were the Menace of the Underdark pre-order collector's edition bonus thing, but I don't know if that's... If they ever made them available any other way or what? I hardly use my hirelings anymore, so it's not as handy as it used to be, but for a while there, I did use them quite a bit, and I really enjoyed having them. I am standing behind the turret. <laughs> That's neat. That's neat. I'm liking that. So if you come in the wrong way, the guards can get you, but if you come in the right way, you can get the guards. These guys are getting in the way. So can you turn this thing? Sort of. It looks like you should be able to turn it all the way, but it's not working for me. I like that, that's fun. I suppose we should, could just run around and kill them. Those look like traps. Pressure plates. Hireling's gonna die again? Maybe.
I like how the mobs just spread out interesting patterns or groups. Yeah, I had never played this before. I thought I had, but it wasn't the one I was thinking of, so. This is all new to me. Um, in both pen and paper and version and in DDO. And Albert bites it again. The Albert just. Yeah. Not that great. Oh, I keep getting emails or texts or something. What do I have? <laughs> nice. That's nice. There's a picture of the dog with his half-eaten jolly ball with the glowing eyes. Hey! Turbine points! That's always nice. Well, that was worth coming in here for. Fun, fun, fun. Another audio commentary. What I clearly remember is that I opened it up, and inside the first page of the cover of the player's guide is a sentence that says, this is a game that is fun, it helps you to imagine. And I remember thinking, all right, challenge accepted. And I immediately fell in love with it. Oh, you sneaky guys. You're no match for my true sight. Let's see what we have here. Oh. In 1982 or 1983, we were at my great aunt's house where we always went for holidays. And all of the cousins got their and got handheld computer games and things like that and electronics. And she gave me the D&D &D basic red box set. And I opened it up and I was like, where's the game? <laughs> it's in your mind. That's where it is. Alright, just got that done. Let's see where else we need to go here. All of that's done. Back to the traps. Shouldn't be a big deal to get through those. So you're definitely want to, gonna want to trap her when you're doing heroic elite. Cause you can see those being pretty deadly.
Well, that gives us how awful my trip is. Because he didn't do anything. Well, I killed that one with my trip, so... Can't tell. Is it just the ogres or what? I'm using this uh, Thunder Forge Great Axe at the moment. Which, let me go ahead and post that up. If I have any basic questions about my character, that should answer them. I'm happy to go into details and stuff, but the images, top two images are clickable, they're image maps, so you can get more information about any specific piece like PR, MRR, what the actual reduction is and things like that. Stats, tomes, etc. It's all available on that. I did that last life when I was higher level, but it mostly holds true. Yeah, I'm on Heroic Elite just to explore. I just kind of want to take it easy tonight and not do anything much. Just take my time and explore. So it's Heroic Elite at the moment. <laughs> I love that. That is awesome. Owlbear head mounted on the wall. That's that's cool. What's your deal, dog? So yeah, I'm just, you know, checking out for the first time. I wanted to see what it was all about and not to be more concerned about my health or DPS or whatever than just exploring and enjoying the environment and such. So that's my approach tonight. Just take it easy and see what the temple has to offer. So far, it's a maze of twisty passages, all alike. I hear archers behind the door. I'm on Thalanus. It should be in your upper right corner of your screen. Which reminds me, I was going to change the title, but I did not. Gravis Rouge is the Polish guy. This is... Yeah, why is it, man? I... I had you on. I was doing. I can't remember. If I was doing something else, but I did uh, pop in and check it out for a bit. You gonna be streaming more often, Wiseman? Man? Oh, at the same time, this is also a favorite run for me. That's cool. Yeah, look forward to seeing you on again. Um, ah, there's where I was missing. Missed that door. Oh, <laughs> I love the rug. Uh, I love some of the decorations in this place. It's hilarious. Owlbear skin rugs. <laughs> I 
Ah, there it is. I thought he was a name and there should be a chest. Mastery over earth elementals. That's cool. El Tar, the Son of Witches. You can check me out on my own Twitch page. That's Seymourgu. Um, hit a follow and you can be notified when I stream and all that fun stuff. While I'm doing that, I might as well go ahead and put up the promo. Um, I'm also on YouTube and Twitter and my own site and Steam. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you'll come back at some point. And yeah, I was in the wrong channel there. All right, cool. So yeah. So that's interesting. Earth Dominion. Mastery for the Earth Dominals. Yep, see ya. And then something that's not really useful to me at the moment. That club is definitely interesting though. I wonder what you that. What do you want, dog? Uh, Earth Temple again. Nah, I'm going to keep exploring down here. I have some spots on my map still. That need figuring out. So why does it say that I can go through there when I can't? Oh. Hey, John Buds, how's it going? Also, I don't know if I said hello to Jokazra and everybody else who joined, but hello, thanks for watching, nice to see you here. As you can tell, I'm just exploring the temple for the first time. I'm on Heroic League with an epic character, so it's kind of a cakewalk, but I'm uh, having fun exploring here. I just want to explore and see what the temple's all about. So, let's see, I've got a little bit up there to do. Got some arms up here. This place is pretty big. Can you not get back up that side? Nope. Alright then. Maybe I should go around. I hope I wouldn't have to do that, but looks like I might end up having to. Unless I go, well, I haven't been down here yet. At some point I'll explore the whole map, so. But there's no big deal going anyway. Dog, why are you so restless? Oh, my dog, why are you so restless, buddy? Hey, what's the restlessness for? So is this Earth? Oh, that's the surface. Okay. So is that where I initially came in then? Interesting. And there we have a platform down. I'm not going to go down yet. Let's see if I can stay on this level and finish some exploration. Usually I use you know left hand rule or right hand rule when I explore something, but at this point I'm just kind of going randomly wherever. It seems like this place is sprawling enough that it you're going to have to make some choices like that anyway. Well, that was nothing. So it looks like I, the only thing left is down or on this level. Up this way, the past that, where do I, oh, I didn't, hmm, they respawn. Or I didn't kill them the first time through. I just ran past them. Which could be the case. I'm not being very careful about that. As I said, we're just taking it easy and relaxing and walking through it. It's been a rough life, rough week in real life for some of my friends they've had. Help people had relatives die and that sort of thing. So. Yeah. 
kind of a good week to just take it easy and not worry too much. Hmm. Must be below or above. Because I don't see anything there. Alright. Yeah. Thanks, John Bud. So, yeah, it's been kind of a down over week. For the people, some of the people I know. And then my mom is leaving on a cruise. And the SO has been having some bad days at work. I'm still unemployed, you know, just kind of a blow week. It's that time you just want to head into the game and just kick some butt and not worry about things. So, that is what I'm doing. This is an interesting room. I'm king of the hill. Wait a minute. Where is that? <laughs> it's right in the middle here. I just I, I went by it. Hey, no problem, voice man. I understand. No Thanks for stopping in. Change the title here, real quick. Meaningful and as as beloved as like like a childhood pet, um, and I think it says something about the the power of this game to engage our imagination that that happens. Twitchy Tuesday. Let's see if I can actually get this. Uh, Twitch is weird sometimes. It doesn't change the title when I say to change the title. So I just try to change it twice and we'll see if it actually kicks in. I'm going to reload the DDO stream here. Hey, Bonnie, how's it going? Looks like you guys had fun last night in here. Yeah, there we go. Title's changed. That's a little better. I want to make sure that I flag that I show people or let them know ahead of time that I'm running Temple and that there will be spoilers so that they're aware. And I see Dragon Cam's working suddenly. Interesting. When did that start? It wasn't working earlier. Well, I checked. So yeah, I have no problem with people not wanting to watch tonight just because it's spoilery but you know it's the new thing and I want to run it through it and I thought it'd be fun to stream it so well, there you have it awesome bunny Yeah, I went to bed last night, and you guys were still playing Cards Against Humanity. And I woke up and saw the Twitters. Like, oh, okay. You guys stayed up and did it. That's cool.
<laughs> there you go. Or here I can just uh, how's that? I'll just hide the game. <laughs> Everything else up on the screen except for the game. No. The people who want to watch, I'll have it on there. But corrosion scepter of acid lore. That's pretty cool. If I was gonna tr my sorcerer, that would be really handy. Hey, I tripped somebody. It's a miracle. Came in that door, come out this door. Oh, hidden. In a commentary. Some more ghouls. such a wonderful imagination, I think you're going to have fun with this game. Interesting that I didn't see it from the other side. else am I missing up here? You know, I've been having lots of problems lately with Twitch in general, so I don't know that it's your internet or if it's Twitch being annoying like it sometimes is where it's not working quite right. I would love to have even better internet and be sure that it wasn't my internet that was the problem but Google Fiber isn't here yet so although I did see a couple jobs back where I can get Google Fiber I just don't want to move again I just moved here I don't want to move back even though it's really tempting to get that awesome speed That's uh, annoying. You've tried all the usual stuff. Resetting your modem, getting a new modem, reconfiguring, going open source modem firmware, replacing cables, all that fun stuff. Well, let's see, what's this doorway? That's the back to the surface, so I don't want to go that way. I've gotten pretty much everything except up in that corner and down here. So let's go see what's down here. And it's earth barriered. Dungeon level two, nice. So let's unlock all the earth barrier stuff. Fill in the map and then Yeah, that's annoying. I've had that similar experience, not with TCOM, but 
computers and such. That's why I won't buy anything by Dell or Alienware anymore. Because when I've already done the first 500 steps that you're telling me to do, and I tell you that I've done them, and you still ask me to do them, I get annoyed. There goes the Albert again. He just can't f seem to stay alive. Alright. Hey, a whole bunch of mobs. This is probably a way I haven't done. Go figure. Alright, so I don't know if anybody else has this experience, but I get frustrated when there's stuff on tables and benches and stuff. And first of all, you can't smash the tables, benches, chairs, whatever. And then second of all, you can't mess with the stuff. Even if there's nothing there, I want to be able to search it, rifle through it, and see what it is. It's just weird that some things are smashable and some aren't like that. Pen and paper, you know, you do all that stuff. In fact, you would often spend too much time doing that. Yeah, Dell's support used to be okay, but then it got horrible, and Alienware support after Dell got it is ridiculously horrible. I really liked my little. Alienware M13 R2, and then it stopped working, and I never could get them to fix it. It was a, well, you have to stay on the phone with the tech for three hours and go through every single step of the way. Like, look, it's the video card. Your own site from your beep, co beep codes says it's the video card. The video card isn't working. Why don't you give me a coffin? I'll send it in and replace it, and you can, or I'll send it in, and you can give me a replacement and take all the time you want to look at it. Well, no, we have to go through several interesting steps. Well, you know what? I already did. I told you, Jack, I did, and they kept asking me. And I get really offended when you act like I don't know what the heck I'm talking about when I said I've done that already. And I really didn't want to sit there talking to somebody halfway across the world for three hours. I wanted to get my coffin and get my thing fixed. That's why there's a warranty, right? Anyway, <sighs> not enough ranting. I ranted enough yesterday on Twitter. <laughs> Don't need to be ranting today. Couple prison cells looks like here. Good thing for a temple to have is prison cells. What? Well, D and D temples at least need them. You know, for being elemental evil, I haven't seen very many elementals yet. That was a little interesting. I think I've seen only the four earth elementals and no other elementals in this whole thing yet. That is interesting. Alright. Let's see where we're going next. I uh, remember the back in the days where you actually had to draw your own maps. So much nicer. Hey, Iron Hands, how's it going? Hope you're doing well this evening. Orcs are talking about stink. Come on, they're orcs. Hey, fabulous Nico. How's it going? Good, good. Glad to hear it. And I may need a snack here shortly. I had dinner earlier, but still hungry. It's uh, interesting so far. I'm uh, 
it's nice to explore in a way that I haven't done in a while. So I like that aspect of it. I like the way the mobs are laid out. It really reminds me so far of uh, Thunder Home. It's got a similar feel to it, the way the mobs are arranged and such, and the long corridors and things. Oh, I'm going to have to look over here to read that, Jokazra. Yeah, Jokazra, I understand the other side of it too, but... I mean, if I've... Uh, the first thing on the call, I listed everything I had tried, basically. I said, okay, look, I tried this, I tried this, I tried that, and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Ha! <laughs> Zero. The only... I got XP from uh, Monster Manual stuff, but that's it. I have not gotten any other XP at this point. I guess I might as well go back to the Earth Temple and look at what the end of that is. So yeah, it was more a function of their person, their support person wasn't listening to what I was telling them than anything else. I mean, if I run a list and say, I've tried that, then don't run, read your script and say, okay, then try this. I just told you, I did exactly that. If it's a more general, have you checked, you know, these things, then yeah, okay, I can see that a little more, but... If I specifically state that what I have and haven't done, and you ignore me, then leave party. I want to dismiss you. I oh, guess that's too far away. Oh, well. I forgot to do that over there. Oh, that's interesting. I've unlocked the barrier, but I can't actually get through it. So it looks like I need to go to the next level of the dungeon. I don't see anything else here I can actually get to. So, yeah. Here we go. The strong wind circulating this chamber suggests that this is... Oh, I like this design. This is interesting. Very interesting. I like how the doors are really nicely labeled. That's uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, well, that's, I guess, my problem then. Because I expect somebody on support for a high-end gaming laptop to know what the heck they're talking about. You know? <laughs> but, you know, Dell Tech supports the one that said, actually sent a tech out to my place to replace my motherboard because I um, had an issue where I reinstalled everything on the laptop I had and I wasn't able to sound, install the sound blaster drivers and they said oh well you need to install those other drivers why I, I paid extra for a sound blaster sound card why would I install drivers for a non sound blaster sound card well it turns out that the other sound card was the sound card the sound blaster stuff was just drivers to support EAX which was not clear at all on their site or anything. But their tech support was so not knowledgeable about the thing that they said, okay, well, we'll send out a tech and have him swab your motherboard to make sure you have the right thing. So, yeah. Call me unimpressed. Because I was. Um, let's see, what else do I want to do? I guess... 
explore this. Is there a way back up? The only issue is I don't see a way back up. Maybe I should try finding a way back up first. Well, let's just see what this takes us. Hey, Jericho, how's it going? Seems like there's a couple mobs behind this door. Nah. I really don't mind his voice. He's a pretty cool guy. I've met him a couple times. He actually bought us a drink. Which was nice. Bunch of minis. His, he was like... He, he was... Uh, his, his, his house was like filled with all of the like relics and artifacts of like a custody battle. So he had like every toy in the world and, and all that stuff. And... Uh, uh, he really helped me like increase my game and make it game. And uh, we brought up other friends, and then one of our friends, uh, his mother, she got into satanic and forbade him to do this anymore. And then shortly after that, Simon and his mom moved away. So I didn't have any people in my group anymore, and we kind of hands it off. Dungeon Master. Whoever wanted to tell the story, um, and that was around the time that I became a player. That, that I just, you know, I just found people to play with. Interesting room for resting. All right, we went through that way. I'm just wandering at random anyway. Why not take this door? Hmm. Well, that's good. So you'll be able to uh, stream on this channel instead of having to do the whole host back thing. That's going to be good. Why can I talk to this guy, but he doesn't say anything? I don't understand. I want to kill guys. This is odd. It's like they want me to talk to him, but they won't let me. Talk about uh, annoying them. That's the way to do it. Well, I got the key. I 
I called their, their altar evil. They didn't like that. Actually, what they were probably more annoyed at is that I didn't deposit anything in the offering bowl. Claire's gotta eat, yo. Let's go ahead and see what we can do now with this chest up here. That Dairy Queen will break, which is annoying. Yeah. Not really. It's fairly easy to do. Sure, why not go to the Southern Halls? See the scenic Southern Halls. He goes on a same cruise every year that I do. Probably run the official client to see the uh, to see those. I run uh, DDML, so I never see the new loading screens unless I actually run the other client and get them downloaded. <laughs> well, it's not like it's just me and him. I mean, it isn't. In fact, the booking for next year's open just opened yesterday. It's the one big vacation I take every year because it's expensive, but it's a lot of fun too. So, ah, uh, nice troll named. It's fun. And there's also a couple of hundred other people in the group, plus a couple thousands of people on the boat. It's not like it's just, you know, us taking a cruise. I want to make that very clear. It's not a big thing. I don't care for that show, so I don't watch it. Yeah, this year, I don't know if we'll go or not because of the, or this next year, because of the money, but if I get a job, I'll be able to afford it, hopefully. Hey, Mary, how's it going? That was an interesting talk show you had yesterday. You know, I forgot to check about my uh, stacking uh, thieves' tools in my robe when I was on my robe. I forgot to check that. That being one of the biggest things that, they're that they changed that I'm really excited about. Awesome. I'm still on my first. 
So that's what I'm doing here. It was interesting to have everybody focused on chatting rather than just chatting while the game was going. So shouldn't there be a chest for that named guy? Yeah. Yo, we're on pretty late. Okay, so back down. No, let's go this way. I want owlbear rugs and heads mounted on the wall for the airship. That'd be fun. Oh, you know what I should put it back on is effects. I uh, forgot I had those off. There we go. That'll make the water look a little better. Hmm. I don't know, I have the hireling owlbear, but I don't know about companions. Get back here. I get some water. Okay. Yeah, that would be cool, Iron Hands. I like that. Easy enough. That's nice artwork. Hmm. Blast locked. And me without my. <laughs> it's so weird. Oh, you're right. You can. I have one. You're right, Titan. I completely forgot about that. Right there. There's an owlbear. snowy one. That's how much I pay attention to the things. I must say, it's a good thing I have some inventory space free, because this is filling up a bit. Adherents of the water temple pray softly in this small chamber. They don't be mad if I just take this key, will they? That's... Uh, wow. That's neat. That's a very unique mob. I I enjoy that. That's neat. Yeah, well, I'm over level, ridiculously. So I'm playing heroic elite on my epic character, just for this reason, so I can just go through and see what it's all about, not worry about it. See, so that was neat. No, no, I'm just that awesome. Mm, that's what I meant to say, I'm just that awesome. It was no nothing to me. Yeah. I didn't want to play with a group my first time through. I wanted to explore it all on my own. And so, you know, I figured... Hero Elite, I'll get the favor at least. And uh, be able to waltz through most of it without having to worry too much about the character and stuff. Yeah, I... 
didn't really want to do that kind of thing either. I just wanted to, I didn't want to have people zerging all around and me not knowing where to go. I just wanted to, uh, you know, experience it for the first time by myself and see what it's all about and not to worry too much, so. What do we got? Uh, oh, hey, look. And then you get things like this where you walk into a room and there's a dozen mobs. Interesting stuff. I really like the fact they did this level split on this one, that it's so low and high at the same time. I love these rugs. These rugs are awesome. I'm going to screenshot. Because I really like these. Next time I see a head on a wall, I want to screenshot that too. Titan, I just said, I want to explore by myself. I don't want somebody leading me around. I don't want somebody running off doing other things. I want to explore it by myself. Yeah. Rug for the air should be awesome. Wow, I might die. Whew. Spell words are ridiculous. Especially when there's four of them that close together. So I take it I'm not going that way. I was going to say, that looks like it's a... Uh... Oh, yay! Swoggin. Oh, no, we can't, because uh, I was just thinking our static group could do this, but we can't. So I'm still wondering about these Wands of a Wonder. That's interesting. And I must say, again, I love how all the doors are labeled, so you can get an idea of where you're going to go instead of just walking blindly through it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That would have been funny. <laughs> yeah. Alright, that's the spell wards. So I don't want to go back that way. Oh, I didn't go in this room over here. Good job. What was what, Mary? I'm, I lost the thread of what you're talking about. Sorry. Was that an orc druid? Interesting. Okay, so is this. Oh, the Wand of Wonders. Uh, this... So it's it's called Wand of a Wonder, but then the effect is Wand of Wonder. And they're exclusive, so I, I've seen three or four of them so far. I've only been able to pick up one. It looks like it's a Wand of Wonder. It's like a Potion of Wonder, except it's a wand form, so it has eight charges. Yeah, that's the way I understood it, Mary. It's like eight potion wonders and, and a wand that's exclusive. Now, if it was eternal, that would be different. So unless it's upgradable, which... Is it upgradable at the altar? Maybe that's why and you can get an internal wand of wonders so for those people who like that sort of things. Hey, I just walked up to him. I didn't even to talk to him. He's already attacking me. How rude. Just because I entered my innermost sanctum in this place. Don't find the air temple key on his person. 
On the wall above this room is a small etching in the shape of a key. Okay. It's not his person, so I did the rune thing and and what? Yeah. Yeah. That'd be funny. It uses all eight chargers at the same time on you. Yep, it seems like the potions are the better deal if you like those things. I don't know. Titan, again, I don't want any hints or spoilers or help. I don't want that. Please stop. Seriously, dude. That's not cool. Nope, target is self. So I have to go by the spell wards again. Hmm. Is there something else I didn't get up here? Looks like... Missed an area, and there's another door up there. Let's look at that first. So that's the door to the air temple, and then this way. Aha! I didn't go up here yet. Oh, time for a nice bath. Or I was a really sneaky thief. Or I was the dungeon master, like keeping this world alive. It was a place where the stuff that made me weird and uncomfortable on the playground in real life, it made me valuable and important and see. All started by myself, kind of going through like choose your own adventure stuff. Man, this this temple has everything. It's hot tubs. Owlbear rugs and owlbear trophies on the wall. It's awesome. Uh, let's see. I've been there. I've been there. Looks like there's some stuff on the other side I haven't been to yet. Let's try that. <laughs> Killed housing in the temple. You just want to move in? If you beat Temple of Elemental Evil 10,000 times, then your guild can take up residence. <laughs> that would be interesting. I mean, in pen and paper, that's what you do, right? You take a temple like this, you clear it out, and that would become your headquarter, your party's headquarters for the next part of the campaign. Oh, that sucks, Murray. 
Always nice to have a hot tub. Hello, Starla70. How's it going? Uh, no, I need to go back there. I haven't been back there yet. Okay, there's nothing there, but at least I know that now. Um, let's go this way. Hope you're doing well this evening, Starla. 70. <laughs> nice. We have that hot tub or hot springs area in the bigger, one of the bigger sections of our guild airship, so they're still there in some capacity. Let's see. I need to go. <laughs> yeah. I have my health showing three different places, plus on my game board shows it again, and I still don't keep track of my health half the time. You can never have your health showing too many places. I believe. Hmm. A fire temple, other exit, maybe. Or you can go to, what is that, Adaraxia's Haven? Is, it, is that the one that has the big spa? Um, so, yeah, what links to what? Huh, there's a guy stuck in the fireplace. Yeah, as a cleric, I can see that. So there's a temple where you're just hanging out in the uh, side of this fireplace here. That's cool. Interesting, Rothko. I mean, statistically that can happen, but... Yeah, I can't attack him. He's just stuck in there. Yeah, say cheese. Even the panther. Screenshot. Yeah, he should have gotten somewhere slightly larger, though, because it... I mean, he can't see anything. His head's in the mantelpiece there. Oh, well, poor guy. I was trying to put him in his misery, but uh, that didn't work. Okay, so I don't need that. Yeah, you think I could go find a hammer and chisel and uh, try to get him out of there. Uh, let's see, where else do I want to try to go? I haven't tried down here yet. Let's go there. Ooh, reverse less gravity, nice. Behind the barrier, the wind circling the room faster. Interesting. It's not the kind of mob I would have expected for this area.
I've played way too much Cards Against Humanity. That's how you get back up. Interesting. Hmm. Alright, so I've done all that. So where was that weird other exit? Let's see. Wasn't it somewhere near fire? Central fire, eastern fire. Air. There it was. So there's back by the spell boards, and then presumably up there. I got some stuff up there to get, so let's go up this way. Yeah. It's really nice to be able to tell where you're going to just, you know, random door, random door, random door. Uh, what the heck does this go? At least have some idea of where it might take you. I'm guessing this will probably go over here to where... Yeah, I haven't been. That's all I'm looking for, places I haven't been yet. Entirely worth picking up the cash. So little. I don't know why I can hit those Dairy Queens sometimes and I can't the other. It doesn't make any sense. Come on, Dairy Queen. Tiny chest sitting in the middle of the hallway. That's not suspicious at all. Mushroom crafting. Yay. Yeah, another thing to craft I probably won't deal with. Oh, this looks fun. And there's another one to wonder. It's the fourth or fifth one, something like that. Yes, yes, whatever, I don't care. You shouldn't be dropping them for me if they're that exclusive. They shouldn't be that common if they're that exclusive. Um, I've already been there, but I haven't smashed the crates. That doesn't sound right. Oh, this is a different level, isn't it? I think if you think about it, Titan, the answer will come to you if you've ever seen a Dairy Queen that has a grill. Exactly, Virtual Gib. Yeah, I guess if you like them, you know, that's each time you get eight more charges, so why not? But I've always been on the uh, cautious defensive side of playing, so I don't usually do that stuff. Oh, hey, walk around a corner into a bunch of orcs. Awesome. Another little lockbox just sitting there. Oh, it's a mini chest with more. Well, I said the crafting ingredients aren't hard to get. <laughs> That's for sure. 
There's been some in every chest. I didn't look at the altar or the workbench or whatever it's called to see how many things took to do, but uh, the not bad to get. From guys like Elmore and artists of that time, artists like Mobius and Frank Frazetta and, and those guys, it it created how fantasy looks in my imagination. To this day, when I am running a game, I am seeing that gorgeous seven ten and eight artwork in my imagination. Well, I'd imagine so. If they drop like this, then you're going to need a bunch. But they're easy enough to farm, so it's not a big deal. And there's another Sphere of Wheaton. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, take your staff and push it off the thing and see if something happens. Really, my friend Simon, who was like um, uh, a weird kid like me, and uh, sort of got out of PE because he had asthma, and was reading the monster manual on the playground, and was like, you know, maybe we should do this. And we started getting together to play all the time. So this audio commentary incorporates some of his spoken word stuff, which is interesting because he, he tells some of the same stories when he's on stage. <laughs> Darn locked doors. This is where in pen and paper I would be. Okay, it's locked. So I'm a dwarf with a big axe and a bunch of strength. I'm going to just cleave until it is open. But no. Not allowed. These are the kind of places where you want breakables to help you understand where you've been. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, fine, we'll go this way. This is where DDO needs better mapping. And a paper, you just take another sheet out, place it, place it on top of underneath or whatever, and say, okay, this is the other level. So I have two separate maps, not just one. Uh, was I going this way? I thought I was going this way. So yeah, I see breakables I haven't broken. Mysterious altar, ooh. Heightened offense. Huh, give me a buff. Interesting. Oh, hey, did I interrupt your party? Sorry, guys. Because there ain't no party like an orc party. Orc tracker party, even. Whole bunch of different encounters 
and looks like that's mostly stuff I've done. Map, because we did a lot of dungeon calling in those days, and then told the DM if your players go this way. They're probably going to attract the goblins yeah. from this way. Yeah, I know he didn't finish his sentence, did he? They don't spend a lot of time there. They probably get through there without a lot of trouble. Things like that. And there was there was a story arc, and there were goals, and there was treasure to lose, hey, look. and there were bosses to take down, but. An hour of heightened offense. I think inspired the way that we play um, was how much we were expected to make our own choices. I have no idea, Rothko. Where did I end up? Through this door. Back in this hallway with the spell words. And I got through that time without a scratch. Yeah, it seems like handy to have that buff for those random as well as everything else. That's kind of need a, a different effect to have an actual helpful thing buried in the dungeon. I don't know, I'm at 75 melee power, whatever I was before. I see copper pieces from a Dairy Queen's games. Decent. That makes sense logically to some degree. And now I'm down here, which I don't want to be. Uh, I was closer to them, that's why. Okay. I'll accept that as an answer. It makes sense. Dungeon level three. The map of this has got to be twisty as heck. Trying to diagram it all out. Ooh, mushrooms. Mushrooms that you can kill. That's interesting. Yeah. Mushrooms. Killable mushrooms. Some place to use the keys finally. What's this key for? Hey, another earth barrier. Yay. I have four audio commentaries for part one left. Soon to be three. My favorite class is the classic uh, AD&D wizard class. Which is weird because you would expect that a, a a weird, awkward, shy, uncoordinated, nerdy kid like me would have wanted to be a fighter or a barbarian or someone powerful or someone unlike me. And 
I wanted to be a wizard because wizards needed to be smart, right? Intelligence was a really important part of being a wizard. And intelligence mattered to me in real life. And I liked imagining that I could go into a place where I look like this frail, little kind of like wasteland kind of guy. And uh, some big, cool kid comes in and messes with me and I'm like, I cast a spell and now you're encased in ice and I'm leaving and you suck and I win. I win because my mind was better than yours. And I will, I think I'll always play wizard. This looks like a joy. The wizard fallen floats high above this chamber. I know why you have come, his voice, but you're too late. Using the arcane power of the pain I discovered, suck it, boy, is nearly free. Was this module originally around level 7 in pen and paper? Oh, hey, how are you? That's cool. I'd like you to try. Spider. I was just curious. Doing nothing for that. Come here, boss. Die. He's doing nothing to it. I'm doing nothing to it. Oh, that's right. I forgot there was a whole city and stuff outside that were supposed to be huge with a lot of stuff going on, too. So, yeah, this kind of does make sense, then. Yeah, this guy is really annoying. I am doing absolutely nothing to it. Is that even hitting him for anything? Should I get him to stay in there? No, it's not doing anything to him. That's ah, just annoying. Mm. Get out of my way! Of all the things that are mentals are so annoying. The mysterious page. Huh. Sounds like it. Well, Panther, you take the aggro and keep him occupied. I'm going to run over here. Run back in the opposite direction. I'm a melee, I don't know what else to do to kill him. Besides swing at him. Am I gonna have to kill him to get out of here? Well, okay. What about my club? 
Hey, look, my club's doing something to him. There we go. It was just the fact I was using an axe. Looks like. What's the problem? Is there something else I didn't do now? Hmm. Looks like it. Yep. I'm not used to things being immune. Damage reduction, yes, but immunity. Thanks, Murray. Good night. Hope you sleep well. All right, let me look at this again. Interesting. <laughs> 500 more potions of cure series against the first floor. So I don't see anything else in here that I'm supposed to do. Ah, there it is, the orb. Didn't see the orb. Now I'm stuck on something. There we go. Okay, there's an orb. Huh. D door. Or some sort of door. Ah, eh, what the heck? Let's just take the door. Let's see where we come out. Buy a shrine. Oh, we're back out here, which means I should be able to go around here if I remember right. And uh, that was the audio commentary. So it's down this way. Pedestal. Sure. Yay, I completed part one. I are super player. Doused hand wraps. Universal spell power, plus three, glaciation. I could see maybe using those on a druid. All right, so I still need three more audio commentaries. And what else? Well, yeah, I knew that was going to happen. I am playing well above the level. Well above level. So I could potentially come out of here and look for those things. Or I could just not worry about it. Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to worry about it. Let's just go ahead and go down to the Part two, we're, yeah, two hours in. That's about right. People were saying it was taking about four hours to get through. Part two, lower temple. Now let's make sure I don't do that. I am almost just hit go. Heroic Elite. There we go. I'm only 14 levels over the quest level. Yeah, if, if you flower sniff and look for everything and do all that, people were saying it was four-ish hours. You can go directly back out to the Hall of Heroes. Interesting. I mean, I, I've been in here two hours, and that was just finishing the first 
thing. I mean, if you zoom through and just went to the keys and then went to the end and did that, it would be a lot faster. But as I said, this is my first time in here, so I'm exploring. Yeah, it probably will, Jericho. All right, I am going to go ahead and take a quick break here. I need to get up and stretch a minute, maybe get a quick snack, and then I'll be back. So say five or ten minutes and I'll be back. Good time for everybody to get up, stretch, take a bio break, whatever, refill your drink. But I will be back in a few.
Alright, I'm somewhat back. I've got a snack here. I've got some strawberries and some popcorn, so... Refill my water. We're gonna go ahead and move forward and make some progress, but I may mute myself quite a bit so you don't have to hear me eating. Oh boy. Gotta look for some crests. Interesting. casters all at the same time. Kill count's pretty high in these quests, I must say. They're not stingy about throwing mobs at you. That's the reason I'm playing the way I am, overleveled, massively overleveled, so that uh, it's not a big deal. And I can just take my time, or rush through, or whatever you want to call it, just do my own thing and not worry about dying, except in cases where I run into those stupid spell words, of course, and almost die that way. Potions of Wonder. It's not only to get the uh, Wand of Wonder, you get the potions too. Dropping in here. Oh, look, a chest is hidden away. No one locks for me. Another hot tub to swim in for a minute. Wash all that blood and guts off for killing all those guys. I love people. I think they are just so cool and they are so terrifying. I will also forever have a place in my heart for the owl bear. Because we use the owl bear on tabletop so much that the owl bear is almost like our unofficial mascot, and uh, and I just love I love the idea that for some reason an owl and a bear 
somehow became one creature. Like, how did that even work? Oh, Mirrors Mueller's. Seems like his voice got quieter in this. At least that one. So something about this area seems strange, rap. Something about some 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 something some, some something about this something about this area seems strange. Seems strange. Seems strange. Hi, kitty kitty. How you doing? Mm, yeah, we'll go ahead and go in here. Hey, door seal. There's one. In somebody's laboratory slash bedroom. Are those owl bear pelts rugs without the heads? That's not as fun. I like when there's the heads around there. Definitely prefer the heads on. All right. Looks like we go across the other hole now. There are always so many cultists in these temples. It's amazing how many there are. I guess there was some mark on the map denoting that 
something is blocked like that. Okay, so I'm missing something because I don't have a second crest. So what am I missing? The passage is completely blocked by the map. Yes, thank you, Will. You've told me that several times already. I'm aware of that. Want to say it again? I'm not seeing the other crest anywhere, which is a problem. I'm not seeing any hidden. <laughs> Or is there only one? Oh, there was only one. I thought there were two. Okay. So used to things like that being two-sided. I think it would make... Yeah, any owls, bears, or owl bears would be nervous by that. Headless rug. I mean, it, you know, if the head's on, it's not quite so bad, I don't think. Because at least you're together, but... Be headless, but you know they have to have, have the uh, wall mount somehow. Got some popcorn down. Let's continue this. This looks strangely familiar. There's a BS yellow orange alert. I'd love to come here, my rogue, and just assassinate a bunch of guys without them realizing it. That'd be fun. I was pretty sure my rogue's just too squishy to worry about it. I'd rather go in for party and at Epic with my rogue and see what happens that way. Some guys with names, they must be important. I don't understand. Eh. Oozes. Let's get my use beater out. More oozes to the pile. Is there more? No, it's a gargoyle. I have to switch to non focus weapon. Some of this junk. I was going to say, I think I prefer not to aggro everybody once, but I think um, it already happened. So, we'll deal with all of them. Orcus Terminator 1. See, I'm getting XP. I don't know how much 
I got for that, but I got a little bit. Sure. Maybe not. So this is the East Fire Shrine. It's this thing at the East Water Shrine having something or other, so I should go there instead. Find the what in the what? Find some portal in another portal. Or node in a portal. Lower elevation, a node of water. Okay. The sound of roaring waterfall washes over you as you are transported into the elemental node of water. They don't skip on the water elementals here. That's for sure. I'm supposed to find something in here. Another bunch of mobs. And more. I think crowd control will be very handy in here. Oh, well, I'm actually taking some damage. That's... Can't have that. Let's heal back up. These are packed with mobs. It's nice to see some swagging out and about too. Oh, we've got an underwater maze. How amusing is this going to be? Let's go ahead and switch my ring. So I don't have to worry about that. Oh, a rest shrine with an adventures pack. That's nice. Okay then.
whole bunch of guys. That was sort of my fault. I was wandering around while running. I'd like to see the map for this area. Oh, and more pop up as soon as you get there. <laughs> oh, how fun! Guess we're not going this I'm gonna find it in this way. If each of these things is this big, wow. it's gonna be another couple hours just to get through this stuff. commentary over there though. up in the same small town and didn't even know each other, but we knew all the same people and we knew all the same places. It really seems like he's a lot quieter on this one. Having to struggle to hear him. Had to boost up a little bit. Alright, so I think I'm going back this way. I don't know. About the first part was massive. This second area is, seems to be ridiculous. It's going to be like a whole campaign in pen and paper. Just this one module. Oh yeah, rest shrine. Always nice to know where the rest shrines are. Even if there doesn't seem to be anything else here.
Oh, uh, I don't know. Let's go this way. Why not? I'm definitely glad I brought this character, because it's the most self-sufficient one I have. Other characters would have run out of heals or something by now. Yeah, Jericho. I don't understand warlocks. I don't understand why people are so about them. From when I read, they seem to be just like a different kind of monk. That they do force damage instead of the monk elemental damage. That's the only difference. And then they can cast some other spells along with that. So. I am not that hyped for warlock. I think it'd be nice to have it as a class, but specifically Warlock, I don't have any real special fondness towards. Should probably go up that way. Hanging in there though. Yeah, I'm 18 to fighter monk. That link I posted in the chat should answer most basic questions about my character. Obviously, I'm not 28 at the moment, so I can't be wearing all that gear, but gives you an idea. Okay, here's something. So I take it that's where I want to go. And the problem is, I haven't done this. Uh... I got a lever or something. Lever or valve I need to get this door open to get in there. That definitely seems to be where I need to go. So at least I found that. Let me look over the map a minute. Looks like we haven't gone yet. Oh, let's pop up here and see if this is just a breathing hole, which I believe it probably is. Yeah. They did away with that thing they did in Druids. 
chain where they marked the air holes with the map marker so you could tell there were air holes there. I enjoyed that. Okay. Several more guys to kill. Yeah, I can see why Skunk City wanted to farm remnants here. I'm getting plenty of champions, and there's so many mobs. If I was actually at level, I'd be getting a bunch of monster trunks. Unfortunately, I am not actually level. Aha, ha, ha, ha. I see a gem up there that I need. Hopefully, it opens the door. Barrier or whatever the heck it was. Those are doing some damage. Oh, this is the Earth Node Earth gem. Earth Node gem found. The Earth portal runes throughout all the elemental nodes become active once more. Oh, uh, so you have to open all this crap to find all the runes to open all the stuff to get all the things. Right. This could take a while. I need to go up here still. There's a couple ways up here I need to go. Small nodes. Reach some innermost depth of the evil. Air in the fire. Fire in the earth. Water in the air. So I have found the one in here. What is that? The only thing I can do in here. And was that one berry that I do a water one or something else? I don't know. Let's go left this time and see where we get to. Just air. Seems to be just air. And is otherwise a dead end. Okay. Let's just put this on so it's faster. Now we need to go back up and this way. Yeah, so I actually have stuff to go. I presume these other ones are 
possible places that that stuff could be. Oh, I just got another email about the cruise. How about that? Alright, back to being the speedy. Uh, no, this way. Oh, that was interesting. Got a little bit stuck there with auto run on. I was eating my popcorn. Earth node portal rune. Okay, sure. Why not? So now I'm in the earth side. I don't know, Titan. I have no idea. I'm just going to enjoy the fact that I'm not having those issues at the moment. That's where I just came out of, right? Yeah, it should be. Yeah. So... For all the guys that I haven't killed yet. Ah, uh, oozes. That'll screw up my weapons right quick. Get these and switch weapons. Alright. Back to my crappy use beater. You know, that's right, that sucks when it happens. I'm glad that I'm not experiencing that at the moment. No, um, oh, there's a different path there I could have gone. So, stick to this for the moment. Deep rumbling can be felt through the floor, as if the entire cave complex was starting to shake. I don't see the shrine that it says is here. Fire portal runes throughout all the elemental nodes become active once more. 
That seemed a lot easier to get that one than it did get the other ones. Melfs, really? Really, you're melfing me? When we played at PAX, um, it was awesome. It was really fun to be in front of a, a sold out, massive theater packed with people who loved the game and loved the characters and cared about it as much as we did. And for me as an actor, it gave me an opportunity to bring the character of Aofel to life in a way that he didn't ever come alive just around the table. Okay. So I guess I'll try that other way. I don't know about you, but I'm having a hard time seeing the walls, floors in this. It's really super dark. I hear there's some other mobs around, I just don't see them. There I go. Let's go ahead and get you back out to help kill. So we've got so many mobs here. At least these corridors seem big enough for the owlbear. In most cases. Or who's just doing the middle of my other guys? And now a rusty. Awesome. Not awesome. So bring a couple weapons that are uh, everything proof, ever bright kind of thing, because you're going to need them when you do this. Well, then stop being helpless so I can get into my right stance. Sheesh, what are you thinking? I've noticed that nothing is dropping treasure bags in here. I haven't seen a single treasure bag. And only a very few collectibles. that won't die by this. Oh, I can take my water ring off now. Yeah, Skunk, I can imagine. Bring at least something ever bright. And have backups for your primary weapons, because, yeah. Yummy. I so love bag drops where you can't pick the crap up. That's so much fun. Seems to be a great place to get uh, your monster manual filled up on some of these monster types. To get the kills you need. So many mobs. And a Rusty's in front of everybody. Awesome. Hmm. Interesting. 
So undead can't figure out where the floor is because they're undead. They're partially incorporeal. So. Just advancing some theories. Giant crystals loom out of the darkness, revealing the massive scale. More resties. Glad I'm not warforged. Do anything to fear about these guys. Oh, and uses as well. Awesome. They can never bright mall. That would help. I looked like one of those chests on the little stand or little chests on the stands, but it was just a crystal. Oh well. This appears to be a large shrine. An intricate room is emblazoned on a raised dais in front of the sealed door. That link should provide you most of the details for my build. The character sheet and inventory. In the center of the dais flares into life. The hey, to I found my way to the thing. Chambers is now open. Yeah, those first two images are clickable. The inventory and character sheet, so. Gives you a bunch of detail without me having to interrupt the stream. I don't mind doing that from time to time, but Almost I get the question quite often. This vast hall is covered in mushrooms, lichen, and other fungi. Really? To the north. Doesn't look like it. It's a strange twisting throne that appears to have grown from the floor itself. Zugatmoy must be near. This bronze door has had its magic wards removed, just like the others you've found in the temple. This looks like I wandered right into the final bit here. I don't really need a shrine. Maybe I'll... Stone skin, shield, and remove fear, though. Yep. That's why I made that page. Just, it solves a lot of problems. Uh, this is all, has all the lichen and mushrooms and stuff, not the other one. The curse of streaming is you get the same question over and over and over again by people who just joined and they don't realize that somebody asked it just five seconds ago. You know, kind of stuff that happens all the time. So, I, you know, it's part of the territory. I don't really mind it. It's just I liked having that answer ready so that people can just, at their own on their own time, look at it. commands the center of the room. Intones a musty voice. Musty. You destroyed my servant, Falren, says Zugget Moy. You took the arcane page he had found. No matter. I have a page of my own. 
I have used it to open the last of the bronze gates. Wow, this is some battle. I'm gonna die. I'm going to die. I died. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that is some end battle. Man. Almost got her too. Like what, 15, 20 percent left? That was that was rude. That was really rude. Some Hezro. Those big. Nah, I didn't bring any cakes. I'm a level 23 and a level nine quest I didn't think it was going to be that bad <laughs> yeah that's rough that's rough for some reason I couldn't get cocoon going I don't know if there was an effect on me or what but I couldn't get cocoon going to heal me back up and then I tried to do a consecrate got knocked down or something I was about to hit a silver flame as I get out of jail free card and that didn't work either okay buy something else oh you know what it would help if I would have actually triggered my destiny ability too that would have helped a little bit oh well yeah soloing that at level has got to be really rough that's that's wild Some Dredge's Hezro, that weird Minotaur dude, what's it called? Garistro Barbarian. So, yeah, you gotta be well prepared to do that first time through. I would definitely bring cakes. That's. Wow. I don't know. How long has that taken me so far on this? side about an hour I think I only got an hour of my shit buffs that's fun too if they take too long through this, then you're going to have your ship bust by the time you get to the boss. It's going to be even rougher. Well. Huh. I don't know. Maybe I'll look. Uh, really? Give me... Hey, Pog. How's it going? I wonder why spirit cakes are hot right now.
So I wonder if I do just grab a regular keg here. Pretty good until like two minutes ago when I died on the final boss of the temple. I'm trying to figure out if I want to use points on a keg or not. Half hit points. Full hit points. Well, let's see. If I get half hit points, get a Consecrate and Cocoon up, trigger my abilities, kill the Dretchers and the Hezro, I should be okay. Ah, let's, let's do it. Why not? Don't usually do this, but in this situation. <sighs> All right. Now nah, let's kill some stuff. Oh, I think you're supposed to be out of the way. <laughs> Yeah. One shotted by the boss. She crumpled in a shower of desiccated spores. Oh, I defeated her. But she dead. What? What happened? So she's dead. Almost everything else is dead. If I release, I wouldn't know how to get back here. Quickly. I really wouldn't. I would have no idea. So she's dead. But I still have to get the page to complete. Well, I used one. I knew I should have bought the three pack. Oh well. Oh, that's annoying. Why do you reset store? I was right where I wanted to be. Shouldn't be a big thing to kill these last couple guys now. And then figure out what to do next, which looks like it's go through this. Let's dismiss these, these hirelings. Behind the twisting growth lies the demon's treasure hoard. Just as in Falrinth's chambers, you find an unusually large sheet that pulses with magic power. Plus three combustion, scorched light, some more shrooms, and the demon queen completed. Is defeated. Her temple destroyed, and her followers scattered. It's time to gather your plunder and return home. You should try to learn more about the magical sheets you found during your adventure. Aha. There's another commentary. I owe an incredible amount of the success and confidence I have as a creative person to playing Dungeons and Dragons for all those years and learning how to be a storyteller. I must say, I'm kind of disappointed about this end. I mean, the battle was awesome, but then that loot wasn't all that. So 
So the sheets aren't in your inventory. I don't see anything else around to do. Well, there you have it. I forgot to check my completion time of the first one, but it was like two hours ish. I'd send in through 53 kills in the first or the second part, which is about the same in the first part, I believe. So yeah, very little experience in some way over level, but I died twice, two cakes. I have mail, which I presume means that I have favor. But yeah, that was interesting. And I didn't even get everywhere and see everything. And it's been over three hours. So yeah, that is a thing. That's interesting. The fun stuff. And is that the, yeah. So I can get a trinket of heroic inspiration. Which does nothing for me. The same plus three energized Kukri. Which, do I still have a Kukri user? I don't know. Heavy mace. Everything's electric. So I'm, I'm going to say this here, because this is showing it here. I really disagree with the same thing showing up multiple times in your end rewards. There should not be two of the same exact item in your end rewards. They should all be unique and different. That's something I would really like to have happen. It's one of those tweaks to the game that I think would make a lot of sense for it to be done. And plus three corrosion. Let me switch this. Another thing. I don't even want any of this stuff. Binds to a character acquire. Just give me a uh, guild renown. I don't want any of this other stuff. Yeah, skunk. I was doing that more in the first part, and then I my energy started waning, and I was just wanting to get through it. So when I stumbled upon a way to get to the end, I just took it. Cause theoretically, I should have not done that and gone back and done the rest, but since I found it, I went ahead and took it. So, yeah, that was uh, the two parts temple element to evil. I'm sure I will spend more time in there learning more and doing more and doing different difficulties and such, but at least I've got the favor for it now, presumably. Yep, so I got 30 favor, which is nice. There are currently four groups for part one and two groups for part two. And what were those? Gatekeeper's favor. Huh. So we have a new favor thing too. That's cool. Hey, balloon guy. Oh, I have a quarter staff user. You know, I'm gonna go take the cooker. I have a cooker user somewhere. I'll go ahead and take that. We take the quest and go up and find the mailbox and see what my mail says. So I don't seem to have crossed a threshold for favor, so I don't know why I have mail. Mailbox is over there. Oh. I did get 4,400 favor. So I got points. Yay! That helps with the points that I spent to get my cakes. 
So yeah, um, come prepared with cakes for the end, if nothing else. It's um, it's an interesting set of quests. I'm sure I'll spend a lot more time checking that out. Oh yeah, new Monster Manual stuff. I didn't check that out yet. Monster Manual 4. I thought you could select each one of these and turn it on or off so you could just see the ones for the thing. Mind flares are in here now. Uh, okay, mind flares are up there. I still don't have Beholder Creature Companion. I still need... What do I need? I just to kill more Beholders. Okay, not a big deal. Bats, one. Lion. Oh. I thought lions were in there before. Lions are in four. Clay golems, stone golems, air and elementals. Oh, I have a fire elemental thing. Astral shards, creature companion. What else is new? Orcs. So gotta work the orcs up. Oh, it was Fiendish Lion before. Now there's just lions. Another Astral Shard there. Still got oozes. Nothing new there. Abishai. Ifrit. Horn Devil. Medium Jewel of Fortune from the Elf. Mummies now in the monster manual, that's nice. Get those from running Wiz King. See so yeah, a couple new ones. For the monster manual. Oh, I didn't want to uh, have that out. Oh, I'll get out of the airship area and lower my volume again. See, I look forward to going back through t to the temple, um, getting the rest of the audio things, and exploring the other areas I didn't get to, because I only really did the uh, water and earth. I didn't see fire or air. And... Um, Let's see what else do I want to do? Let's unsummon this guy. I don't usually use them out. I, I mean, I've got them, but I don't usually use the companions. And the loot probably won't sell for much anyway. I do need to repair as well, I'm sure. Well, let's get rid of this stuff. This stuff that I don't, I'm not going to use for sure, and the name stuff I'll look at. Yeah. 
And I've got a stack of Curious Series ones somewhere, so let's not worry about those. Yeah, not much in the way of money from the loot, because it was low level loot. Oh well. All right. It's Seymour Goo guy. I believe that's going to do it for me tonight. I know it's early and I usually stream later. But uh, yeah, that was telling below mental evil and that kind of took a lot out of me. And uh, as I said, this week's been rough. I've been adjacent to a lot of rough stuff this week. So I will call it. Um, thanks everybody for watching. I do appreciate it. Let's see who else is streaming tonight and uh, see if we might read them. And uh, yeah, otherwise, enjoy Elemental Evil and the other U25 stuff that's in and happening now. And thank you for the hosts. I see Siren and Blue Queen are hosting. And I am as well. I appreciate that. Looks like uh, we can do... Let's do somebody else this week. We've been doing Gemini for the past couple weeks. So let's go and uh, hit Vibranium. And our message is Elementals is evil. So, you know, Twitch rating, go over to Vibranium, type Elementals is evil, stick around, say hi for a minute, um, watch him, see if you like him, give him a follow. If not, you know, that's cool. At least you tried him. Gemini is also on, Gemini 166, if you'd like to stop by and see what he's doing. I'm not sure they appreciate your views. And as always, um, us here on the community stream team. I'll put that schedule up. I'm not going to read it this time. It's available all over the place if you want to peruse it yourself. I don't think you need me to read it to you. Um, it hasn't changed in a couple weeks now. It's gotten pretty steady. And then again, me, more of me on Twitch TV, YouTube, Twitter, my website, and Steam. Appreciate any follows, likes, subscriptions, any of those things. Um, it's a good thing to be noticed and you know have people saying they enjoy your work. So appreciate that. Hey Silens, uh thank you. Thanks, Skunk, Titan, everybody watching. Have a good night and I'll see you next week, if not before. And again, our raid tonight is Vibranium or Alternate if you want to go watch Gemini, feel free. Good night.